Hello, welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread, the Bible, for August 16th, 2023. Here, we will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, the Bread of Life, with the goals of hearing all of the Bible by the end of December 2023, increasing our faith and pleasing the Heavenly Father. For the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6 reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17 reads, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Further, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 reads, For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. Hallelujah. And the book of John chapter 15, verse 7 through 8 reads, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. And Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30 reads, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. The words of life that we shall hear today, August 16th, are Psalm 74, continuing with the book of Isaiah with chapter, (coughs) (coughs) pardon me, chapter 11 verse 1 through chapter 12 verse 6. The New Testament reading will be from the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 1 through 60, and the book of Esther will be from chapter 2, verse 1 through 23. All scriptures are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible, copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson, Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. I'd like to thank every listener of Jesus for all, too. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your faith is increasing your knowledge of the promises of God, and that you are being given the grace in the name of Jesus Christ to walk in those promises. And if it has been a benefit, I pray you would share Jesus for all two with another, and if you are inclined, that you would subscribe. And now, Psalm 74, a contemplation of Asaph, and it reads, O God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you have purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion where you have dwelt. Lift up your feet to the perpetual desolations. The enemy has damaged everything in the sanctuary. Verse 4, your enemies roar in the midst of your meeting place. They set up their banners for signs. They seem like men who lift up axes against the thick trees. And now they break down its carved work all at once with axes and hammers. Verse 7. They have set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name to the ground. They said in their hearts, Let us destroy them altogether. They have burned up all the meeting places of God in the land. Verse 9. We do not see our signs. There is no longer any prophet, nor is there any among us who knows how long. O God, how long will the adversary reproach? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Verse 11, Why do you withdraw your hand, even your right hand? Take it out of your bosom and destroy them. Verse 12, For God is my king from of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the sea serpents in the water. You broke the heads of Leviathan in pieces and gave him as food to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You broke open the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours. The night also is yours. You have prepared the light and the sun. You have set all the borders of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Verse 18. Remember this, that the enemy has reproached, O Lord, and that a foolish people has blasphemed your name. O do not deliver the life of your turtle dove into the wild beast. Do not forget the life of your poor forever. Verse 20.
have respect to the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of the haunts of cruelty. Oh, do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Verse 22, Arise, O God, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproaches you daily. Verse 23 and last, Do not forget the voice of your enemies. The tumult of those who rise up against you increases continually. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus Christ, this word <clears throat> is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. Amen. 11. The book of Isaiah chapter 11. And it reads... There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and the branch shall grow out of its roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge by the sight of his eyes, nor decide by the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. And with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Verse 5. Righteousness shall be the belt of his loins, and faithfulness the belt of his waist. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and their little child shall lead them. Verse 7. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play by the cobra's hole, and the weaned child shall put his hand in the viper's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy it in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Verse 10. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, who shall stand as a banner to the people. For the Gentiles shall seek him, and his resting place shall be glorious. It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people who are left, from Assyria and Egypt, from Pothros and Cush, from Elam and Shinar, from Hamath, and the islands of the sea. Verse 12. He will set up a banner for the nations and will assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Also the envy of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall not harass Ephraim. Verse 14. But they shall fly down upon the shoulder of the Philistines toward the west. Together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall lay their hand on Edom and Moab, and the people of Ammon shall obey them. The Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt. With his mighty wind he will shake his fist over the river and strike it in the seven streams, and make men cross over dry shod. Verse 16. There will be a highway for the remnant of his people who will be left from Assyria, as it was for Israel in the day that he came up from the land of Egypt. Chapter 12 And in that day you will say, O Lord, I will praise you, though you were angry with me. Your anger is turned away, and you comforted me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for Yah, the Lord, is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Verse 3 Therefore with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And in that day you will say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his deeds among the peoples, make mention that his name is exalted, sing to the Lord, for he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Verse 6 and last, Cry out and shout, O inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in your midst. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word.
is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ or every of us the hearers hallelujah and glory to God in the highest and now the New Testament reading continuing today in the book of Acts with chapter 7 the book of Acts chapter 7 hallelujah the book of Acts chapter 7 and it reads then the high priest said are these things so verse 2 and he said brethren and fathers listen the God of glory appeared to our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia before he dwelt in Haran and said to him get out of your country and from your relatives and come to a land that I will show you then he came out of the land of the Chaldeans and dwelt in Haran and from there when his father was dead he moved him to his land in which you now dwell to this land in which you now dwell and God gave him no inheritance in it not even enough to set his foot on but even when Abraham had no child he promised to give it to him for a possession and to his descendants after him verse 6 but God spoke in this way that his descendants <clears throat> would dwell in a foreign land and that they would bring them into bondage and oppress them for 400 years verse 7 and the nation to whom they will be in bondage I will judge said God and after that they shall come out and serve me in this place <clears throat> excuse me then he gave them the covenant of circumcision circumcision and so Abraham begot Isaac and circumcised him on the eighth day and Isaac begot Jacob and Jacob begot the twelve patriarchs verse 9 and the patriarchs becoming envious sold Joseph into Egypt but God was with him and delivered him out of all his troubles and gave him favor and wisdom in the presence of Pharaoh king of Egypt and he made him governor over Egypt and, and all his house now a famine and great trouble came over all the land of Egypt and Canaan and our fathers found no sustenance verse 12 but when Jacob heard that there was grain in Egypt he sent out our fathers first and the second time Joseph was made known to his brothers and Joseph's family became known to the Pharaoh. Then Joseph sent and called his father Jacob and all his relatives to him, 75 people. So Jacob went down to Egypt and he died, he and our fathers. And they were carried back to Shechem and laid in the tomb that Abraham bought for a sum of money from the sons of Hamor, the father of Shechem, verse 17. But when the time came of the promise drew near, which God had sworn to Abraham, the people grew and multiplied in Egypt, till another king arose who did not know Joseph. This man dealt treacherously with our people and oppressed our forefathers, making them expose their babies so that they might not live. At this time Moses was born and was well-pleasing to God, and he was brought up in his father's house for three months. And when he was set forth, Pharaoh's daughter took him away and brought him up as her own. Verse 22, And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, and was mighty in words and deeds. Now when he was forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Israel. And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defended and avenged him, who was oppressed, and struck down the Egyptian. For he supposed that, this, that his brethren would have understood that God would deliver them by his hand. But they did not understand. And the next day he appeared to two of them as they were fighting and tried to reconcile them, saying, Men, you are brethren. Why do you wrong one another? Verse 27. But he who did his neighbor wrong pushed him away, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge over us? Do you want to kill me as you did the Egyptian yesterday? Then at this saying Moses fled and became a dweller in the land of Midian, where he had two sons. And when forty years had passed, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire in a bush in the wilderness of Mount Sinai. When Moses saw it, he marveled at the sight. And as he drew near to observe, the voice, to observe, the voice of the Lord came to him, saying, 
I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses trembled and dared not look. Then the Lord said to him, Take off your sandals. <coughs> Pardon me. Verse 33 again. Then the Lord said to him, Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their groanings. I have come down to deliver them. And now come, I will send you to Egypt. This Moses whom they rejected, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge, is the one God sent to be a ruler and a deliverer for the ha hand of the angel, by the hand of the angel who appeared to him in the bush. He brought them out, after he had shown wonders and signs in the land of Egypt and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness forty years. Verse 37. This is that Moses who said to the children of Israel, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet, like me, from your brethren, him you will hear. This is he who was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai, and with our fathers, the one who received the living oracles to give to us, whom our fathers would not obey but rejected, and in their hearts they turned back to Egypt, saying to Aaron, Make us gods to go before us, as for this Moses who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know where, what has become of him. Verse 41. And they made a calf in those days, offered sacrifices to the idol, and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets. Did you offer me slaughtered animals and sacrifices during forty years in the wilderness, O house of Israel? You also took up the tabernacle of Moloch, and the star of your god Rimphan, images which you made to worship, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. 44. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the midst, in the wilderness, as he appointed, instructing Moses to make it according to the pattern that he had seen, which our fathers, having received it in turn, also brought with Job brought with Joshua into the land possessed by the Gentiles, whom God drove out before the face of our fathers until the days of David, who found favor before God and asked to find a dwelling for the God of Jacob. But Solomon built him a house. However, the Most High does not dwell in temples. made with hands, as the prophet says. Heaven is my footstool, and the earth is my footstool. What house will you build for me, says the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Has my hand not made all these things? 51. You stiff-necked and uncircumcised and hardened ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit, as your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who were foretold, the coming of the just one, of whom you have now become the betrayers, betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the direction of angels and have not kept it. Verse 54. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed at him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And they said, Look, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a voice, stopped their ears, and ran at him with one accord. And they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. And they stoned Stephen as he was calling on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Amen. And this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. And now, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. For the book of Psalm 121. Psalm 121, and it reads, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Verse 3, He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Verse 5, The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is your shade. Let me take that again. Verse 5, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Verse 7. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in, from this time forth and even forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you. For you are the God who made heaven and earth. My help comes from you. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for not allowing my foot to be moved. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for keeping me from all my enemies, not allowing the sun to strike me by day, nor the sun by night. Thank you, O Lord, for protecting me from all manner of New York. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for protecting me from all evil and preserving my soul. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for preserving my going out and my coming in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. And we thank the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ for Psalm 107, 20. And it reads, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Amen, amen, and amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in Jesus' name, are every of us, they hear us. Hallelujah and glory to God.